One of the things that we look for at Enterprise Connect are those vendors who are willing to jump into the shark infested water that is UC, which is why I'm very happy to be sitting next to Mr. David Buholtz from Intel. He's the Worldwide Unit Unite Sales and Technical Enablement Manager. Wow, that's a, that's a mouthful, mouthful, but thank you, David. Big title, big title. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is interesting because Intel has jumped into an incredibly competitive field. There's, there's a lot of vendors who would be a little gun shy about coming into a market where you've got some very established players and yet you think you can bring something special to the game. What is it? Yeah, I mean, when you look at Unite, um, it was actually an internally developed product. So at Intel, I spent 16 years inside of Intel IT uh, doing a lot of things like the last products I did were driving the innovation workplace transformation initiatives for Intel's IT group. Mm. And we had had a lot of learnings from trying to do collaboration in a large enterprise, um, in a large setting. We're very much in technical and sci-fi terms like the board. We buy and acquire companies, bolt technologies on, and so you as an employee would go into a collaboration space, it might be a Skype room or a Zoom room, or you'd get three sheets of laminated pieces of paper telling you how to use the room. People that they go to Best Buy they don't even read the instructions. They just want to be able to walk in and make it be intuitive. And so we tried to solve that problem internally. So Unite actually started as a product we developed internally to solve our own collaboration problems. Used it for about a year and then um, our, our company decided, hey, this is a great product. Why don't we go give this to our customers? Right? Our employees are actually demanding this from an experience perspective. We've hit the experience on the head we're solving their issues, let's go give this to other people out in the market. So it wasn't something where, hey, we want to go tackle the UC world, it was we've developed a product that it seems our own employees are really happy with, let's go give it to other people. It sounds, it reminds me a lot of the story of uh, Kubernetes over on the Amazon side where they had a product, it was working, and then someone said, hey, wait a minute, I think everyone else would like to use something like this. So it's, that's, that's your special sauce, that's it's, what you think you're doing better than everybody else, which is your product was a product before it was a product. Well, yeah, it's, it's two things. It's number one, we've nailed the experience. Number two, my joke has always been, it's the coolest thing IT's given back since wireless, right? <laughs> so if you think about wireless, wireless didn't start the consumer world, it didn't start anything else, it started in the business world and went to consumer. Um, but really, IT really hasn't done a lot on the corporate space until something like collaboration. When you can go nail experience like this, it's something really good to be given back. Right, right. Now, let's get practical, because this is not just a theoretical exercise. You already have a couple of big players buying in. One of them is Cerner, which is a healthcare provider, and they're, they're notorious for being very finicky about their IT, just because of all the, well, HIPAA regulations that they have to adhere to. Can you tell me a little bit about that deployment? What does it mean for Intel, and what does it show about where your strengths and where your weaknesses are? Yeah, so Cerner is a great example because you know obviously they put out a white paper talking about their experiences, mm -hmm. um, but Cerner was one of our first customers that actually had visited on site with Intel and saw what we were using, and literally went, "Hey, what is that? You know, we're we're looking at doing a redo of our collaboration. How are you guys doing that?" Um, you know, they saw us using everything from Macs to Windows to iOS devices in a conference room. They're like, you know, is this something you guys bought? You know, so it started from there. And then they were like, once they heard we were getting ready to release this, they were the first people to jump on board and said, we'd like to take a look at this because we're looking at all these other products as well. So they gave us a lot of input at our first release with this and have been with us since day one, really as a partner out there uh, adopting it. But they, we had to go through the full gamut of you know, they're going to evaluate us against everybody else, but our experience really won the day with Cerner, if you, if you read what they put in their white paper. Um, but they even came up with some unique use cases where it wasn't just, you know, in the executive rooms, they rolled it out in the collab spaces, they started building these things um, we call backpack carts, where they're mm -hmm. rolling carts with big screens on them with uh, devices on the back so they could roll them into any space and do instant collaboration with their notebooks or tablets or anything else. Um, so they've really brought some unique use cases into that, and they're looking at you know, how they expand this into other collaboration areas within their company and their subsidiaries as well. Uh, what I loved about that white paper was it described, as you were saying, this, uh, the, the convergence aspect of your product, that it's not just a communication suite, that you have clients like Cerner that have been able to take it, the, the basic tools, and combine it with yep. other tools. And it, it's this disruption by convergence which is different than just standard disruption. Yeah, I mean our main goal with this was, the whole reason we called the product Unite was, we don't want to take over the WebEx world or the Skype world or all this, those, you know, those companies are great at what they do. What we really wanted was a common UI that provided that 
wireless display and collaboration interface, but yet interfaces with other solution architectures that are out there. So when you look at things like Skype for Business, or the Cisco products, or Zoom, we've got all these partners over here that have developed plugins for Unite, so whatever your UC of choice is, whatever your peripherals you want to put into the room, they can plug those into Unite, and through that one client, when you go in, you can control the home room experience. And that's where we're going, right, is that merger of AV and IT, and how do you get to that ahead of time versus having to play catch up later. It's the tool that works with all your other tools. Right. Yeah. Now, let's, let's talk a little bit about that, uh, that later, because we have seen here at Enterprise Connect a lot of, well, some nascent ideas that have come from this idea of bringing together a few different tools, and then suddenly everyone says, wow, that's a great idea. That's what we need next for our product. Where do you see this going for Intel over the next five years? What other fields are going to converge? AV and IT, of course you've already got healthcare. What's, what's next on the table? Yeah, I mean, when you look at things, like you said, healthcare. Healthcare is one of our, our, our growing segments. Uh, education's our fastest growing segment. Um, when you look at how people collaborate, it all starts in the education world and they start bringing that knowledge, whether it's K through 12 or higher ed, then they start bringing those collaboration methods they've learned into the workplace and start demanding other things, right? So we're kind of working from the very beginning stages of collaboration all the way into the professional stages of collaboration. Um, really trying to understand where people want to go and how we integrate different things. And so when we first started out is how do we take over that display, now it's really, hey, how do we integrate? So it's room control. Um, our product's really built on things like telemetry. We have a whole telemetry back end so we can see how collab spaces are being used. How many people used them? What kind of technology did they do when they went into the room? Um, in our own studies, you know, the first 4,500 or so conference rooms we did at Intel, uh, over an 18 month period, we were able to measure that we did over seven million uh, meetings at Intel, spent 2.6 million hours <laughs> doing meetings. It doesn't tell you what the quality of the meetings were, but we'd never had a way of measuring that before. Right, right. right? And so having that, it's all about big data, right? So when you think about collaboration, how do you get big data and collaboration together? So you talk about future, it's not just AV and IT, it's all about how do you make decisions on what you're doing going to do and building those components in and that's kind of where we're looking at with our product is how do we take those next little points and what other partners do we need to partner with to help go push you know next generation collaboration um, if you look at our products that are coming out next year we're going to have full touch integration in so you can do touch back to the client right um, we're already starting to do technical research on things like how do you do augment and virtual reality as part of collaboration where does that take us the next two to three years so how does all that play into what you're designing in the future space? And it has to be a building block that's software upgradable because these conference room spaces or these collab spaces, you can't just go replace stuff every two years. Right. It's got to be stuff that you can leave something in place for four or five, maybe seven years, depending on what the technology is, but incorporate it into what your future architecture stack is too. We've been speaking with David Buholtz. He is the Worldwide Unite Sales and Technical Enablement Manager at Intel. David, I want to thank you very much for spending time with our audience. If you could, please tell them where they can find you, where they can find Intel, where they can find Unite, and perhaps find more information about what you can do for them. Yeah, if you're interested with Intel Unite at all, feel free to go to www.intel.com slash unite, and all the information will be up there, including our contact information. You can search for me, David Buholtz, on the web. You'll see my name from several different technical forums I participate in. Feel free to send me a direct message and anybody from my team can help get you the information you need on Intel Unite. David, thank you for your time and thank you. Be sure to stand by because we've got plenty more from Enterprise Connect 2018.